Expert commented on the situation on the border between Armenia and Azerbaijan. A memo expert Putin, there will be no war between Baku and Yerevan over Sunik region. MMO expert Pritchin, there will be no war between Baku and Yerevan over Syunik region. A full-scale war between Armenia and Azerbaijan over the situation around the Syunik region can hardly be expected, but new aggravations on the border are possible, and the latest escalation is related to Baku's attempt to pressure Yerevan to fulfill last year's agreements on the trilateral statement of the leaders of Russia, Armenia and Azerbaijan on the ceasefire, Stanislav Pritchin, senior fellow at the Center for Post-Soviet Studies at Imamo Ran, told RIA Novosti. Yerevan said on Tuesday that the Azerbaijani armed forces launched an attack in the eastern direction of Armenia's border and invaded the country's territory in the region of Mount Kilisali. According to the Armenian Defense Ministry one Armenian soldier was killed, 13 taken prisoner, connection with 24 servicemen was lost. The Azerbaijani Defense Ministry said seven Azerbaijani soldiers were killed and ten wounded in fighting on the border with Armenia, but the situation is now stable. In a telephone conversation with Azerbaijani and Armenian defense ministers, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoiga said Moscow was ready to help stabilize the situation. By the end of the day, the Russian Defense Ministry reported that as a result of telephone conversations between Shoigu and his Armenian and Azerbaijani counterparts, the side stopped fighting near the Kilisali border mountain. Baku insists on laying the so-called Zangezer Corridor, which will connect Azerbaijan with the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic through the territory of Armenia's Syunik region. Azerbaijan's further plans include connecting Zangelan, located in the region of East Zangezer, with West Zangezer, and then through Orjabad with Nakhchivan in Turkey. Yerevan does not agree with the idea of a transport corridor from the western regions of Azerbaijan to Nakhchivan through the territory of Armenia. In spring, Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev threatened Yerevan to solve the issue of the construction of the Zangezer Corridor through Armenian territory by force in case the Armenian side refuses to do so voluntarily. According to Pritchin, the latest escalation on the Armenian-Azerbaijani border is linked to the disruption of a trilateral meeting of leaders. Earlier Russian Presidential Press Secretary Dmitry Peskov said that Putin, Aliyev and Pashinyan are preparing a new meeting via video conference. At the same time, Peskov noted, there are no exact agreements on the timing yet. We all saw that on the eve of November 9th to 10th negotiations at the highest level between the leaders through the mediation of Russian President Vladimir Putin were seriously preparing. There were statements about the necessity of fulfilling all the remaining points of the statement on an armistice that was signed a year ago. There were encouraging signals from Yerevan, and then, in the end, Armenia refused to participate in this forum. And what is happening on the border is Azerbaijan's attempt to pressure Armenia to fulfill its obligations under the ceasefire statement, the expert believes. According to him, Syunik region is strategically important for both Armenia and Azerbaijan. He reminded that Baku insists that the Zangezer transport corridor goes through Syunik region. In the trilateral statement of November 9, 2020, on the armistice, the corridor is not marked in any way, but it is prescribed that it should go along the southern border of Armenia and Iran. This is the shortest road between Nakhchiv and the autonomous exclave of Azerbaijan and the territory of Azerbaijan, Pritchin stressed. He recalled that the situation along the entire length of the Armenian-Azerbaijani border, after the Lakin and Kelbajar districts were transferred to Azerbaijan, has periodically deteriorated for several months. The tension is due to the fact that there is no border as such. Negotiations on the delimitation of the border have not started for a year, everything was at the mercy of border guards and military, there were constant clashes and exchanges of fire, because the sides have different views of the trajectory of the border and disputed each other's claims to certain valleys and roads. This complex of issues is still not resolved, there are no negotiations on the delimitation and demarcation, the experts